All right, Dan, from El Cajon to Santee, that's where you're taking a live look at this picture right now, where more than 100 people have come out to honor the life of a 24-year-old man who was run down by a cement truck. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. 10 News first showed you video of the collision, which the man's family says proves the driver is at fault. 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefty is live at tonight's vigil with why the family's frustrated with investigators. Vanessa? Yeah, Kim, first let me show you this vigil started at 5 o'clock and there's still a nice crowd here tonight. Candles and some very large uh, floral arrangements there. Uh, Stevie Eastman was killed at this intersection and now the family is worried that the driver may never be held accountable. More than 100 people gathered to grieve Stevie Eastman, who was hit by a cement truck at this intersection. His 13-year-old little sister was inconsolable. He, he loved everyone. He, you know, he loved me and he was just, he was just the best. And he is always there for me and stuff. And I don't know why he had to, had to leave. Eldest brother Chris Eastman took Stevie off of life support on Monday. He's frustrated. Investigators have not yet arrested the driver who hit his brother. If you see all these people back here, they all want an answer just like me. They don't want to wait three months for an investigation. Eastman contacted 10 News to show us this surveillance video he got from a nearby taco shop where Stevie was killed. He says it should be all the evidence investigators need to arrest the driver who hit his brother. If you look closely in the upper left of your screen, this is Stevie walking back to work after lunch on Friday. He starts crossing Mission Gorge Road with what appears to be a green light. You can see cars crossing the intersection in the same direction. Then comes the cement truck turning left right into the crosswalk. You can't make out the collision, but it does appear the driver makes a stop. We asked Jan Caldwell with the San Diego Sheriff's Department why no one's been charged and if the driver was indeed at fault. What we want to do is look into everyone's life for 48, 72 hours before this happened. What were they doing? Who were they with? Why were they there? San Diego County Sheriff's Department say they have two of their senior detectives working this case. They say they are sensitive to the family's grief, but they're doing their job. And they say this will be a long-term investigation. That the reconstruction on this accident will take some time. But at this point, no charges have been filed. We're live in Santee. Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News.